friends, on Friday, October the 25th. Good to have you with us today. We're going to do some trick or treat. Actually, we're going to talk about trick or treat through Missouri history. We've got Joan Stack with us. I think it's Joan Stack <laughs> that we have here because she looks like a ghost to me today. Welcome. Oh, it's nice to be here, Paul. <laughs> Good to see you. You got to see what Joan looks like. She is dressed up in a Halloween costume as a ghost. Are you a specific ghost? Yes, I am. I'm the ghost of Eliza Bingham, the wife of George Caleb Bingham, the famous artist. Oh, okay. Well, go to kbia.org, click on talk shows and then radio friends and, and watch this seg segment. So you're the ghost of uh, Eliza Bingham. That's right. So this event that is coming up uh, trick or treat through Missouri history. Tell me about it. Well, it's at the State Historical Society of Missouri, and we transform the society for one night into a ghostly place where the kids are invited to trick or treat at various stations where they learn a little bit about history. Missouri ghosts, for example, we have a whole station on that. Missouri bones and fossils. Back up just a little bit. You have a whole segment on Missouri ghosts? That's right. You know, the ghost of Harry Truman that apparently haunts his home and uh, and even the the uh, famous ghost that uh, is over at Stevens College we talk, have a little bit of information about about those ghosts so so we have a station on Missouri ghosts we also have bones and fossils we have bats and caves and in fact we make a kids cave for the kids to crawl through now that's not like a real Missouri cave but right they can learn about real Missouri caves and explore our kids cave well, it seems like you've put a lot of effort really a lot of effort yeah. into this now, you piqued my interest with the Missouri ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, how much do you know about the Missouri ghost? Well, I, I am not the expert on the ghosts, though it's funny. The last year we did this, uh, I was the ghost in the gallery, the ghost of Mrs. Bingham, who shows uh, the visitors to the gallery the artworks of George Caleb Bingham. And uh, one of the kids afterwards said, now... How come in your Missouri ghost sections you don't have you don't mention the ghost of Mrs. Bingham that haunts the, <laughs> the gallery? And so her mom had to explain that I wasn't a real ghost. But uh, <laughs> oh, the kid thought you were a real yeah. ghost. He said I came out of the wall. I actually had just kind of come out of the darkness and, and appeared. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you have a lot more talent than yeah, you realize. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so there is a section on ghosts. I know what some of the ghosts are, but I, I'm not an expert in them, I'm afraid. But, but Harry Truman yes, supposedly is, haunts his house. That's right, and they smell brandy, and, you know, they, they're, they're hints when Harry Truman has been been about when yeah, the ghost has yeah. been... And then, of course, the one in Stevens College, isn't yeah. that... Uh, it's supposed to be a Confederate soldier, I think I understand, and then and then this girl who helped him, and sometimes it's the girl that shows up, sometimes it's the soldier. I, I, I'm not totally sure. And but. isn't there um, something on campus, a university? Well, I've heard in the library uh, there are supposed to be ghosts that haunt the old portions of the library, uh, maybe a, a, a librarian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, are you covering that? I think so, yeah. I think we, we have a little images related to, there's the ghost ghost light that's down in the area of, of Oklahoma and the border between Oklahoma and Missouri. That's the strange light that bounces across the road. It seems like it's probably some sort of optical illusion, but, you know, people have said Well, that's what people ghost. always say. Yeah. When, they, when they can't understand it, yeah. don't understand what causes it's an optical illusion. Yeah. But there is a ghost light right on the Missouri-Oklahoma yeah. border. And there's a ghost a steamboat that, uh, that travels around the Jefferson City region. So, you know, there's some very interesting a stories. Ghost steamboat? Yes, a, a steamboat that's supposedly wrecked in the river, and then the ghost of the steamboat appears. From I time hadn't to heard time. that one. Yeah. Well, so this is all being covered. Yeah, and we want the kids to come dressed in costumes. So this is an opportunity for uh, parents who are looking for something for their kids to do. You know, they get so excited about right. Halloween. I have three kids as well, and they want to wear those costumes. So we want to invite them to come in their costumes on Tuesday, October 29th at 5.30. Doors will open at 5.30. It's from 5.30 to 7.30. And uh, trick-or-treat. Bring your trick-or-treat bags. We'll be making bags as well. And we'll make, uh, you'll have the opportunity to learn about Missouri pumpkins. We have crafts at each one of the stations. Mm -hmm. So uh, they can, one of the crafts is, is designing your trick-or-treat bag. We have the, a, a pumpkin craft 
craft. We have the wonderful uh, crafts at the different stations. So we really, it's a fun time. And in each station, you can get well, a little yeah. bit of candy. And, <laughs> and so, so there's free so candy. It's, it's next Tuesday. And then Halloween is next Thursday. Thursday. So they can... They can get all in the mood and That's the spirit right. of it. So you can actually even have two Halloweens if you want. Bring yeah. the kids out. To... And the and the stations are not very scary at all. So if you if you've had little little kids, you know, I, some as early as three, if you think your kids can handle it. But uh, you know, it's it's mainly aimed at I guess school age, kindergarten through maybe mm -hmm. fifth grade or some or, or that kind of age, the trick or treating age. But uh, if your little kid is uh, is not going to just run wild, uh, I little kids can enjoy. It. Now, the ones who can deal with a little bit of scariness can come to the ghostly gallery. So that we will have uh, performances of the ghost every 20 minutes or so. In the so, ghostly gallery. In the ghostly gallery. So what happens so, in the ghostly gallery? Well, it's all dark in there, and the ghost comes out with uh, and uh, only lit by flashlights and and artificial lights, and uh, talks about the various um, paintings. And we, we focus on the Civil War painting, Order Number 11. So it's a little bit scary. You know, as I said, one kid actually believed I was a real ghost. Yeah, because <laughs> so, you came out through the wall. Yes. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, it's, so for the little ones, it might be a little scary, but none of this is as scary as some of the other haunted houses that are really aimed at teenagers around. So right. if you're looking for something for kids, this, would be this will be a fun event. Okay, so it is a trick or treat through Missouri history. So you get a history lesson out yes. of it too. Yeah. And you have a lot of fun. It's a good it, it's a good family event. That's right. And I want to remind everybody where we are because not everybody knows. We are the State Historical Society of Missouri. We're located on the MU campus in Ellis Library. Uh, our our building is in the east wing of Ellis Library, and we have an entrance on Lowry Mall. And there will be balloons and various things to mark our, okay, yeah, our okay. entrance. So we really want to encourage you to, to come visit us. It's a free event. It's lots of fun. Yeah. And maybe the uh, the ghost that haunts, it's Ellis Library. That's, yes. That's haunted. Maybe the real ghost that haunts Ellis Library will make an appearance that evening. You never know. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. All right. Well, mark your calendars for next Tuesday, October 29th, 530 to 730. Can they stay the whole time if they want to? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Joan, Stack, thank you so much for coming by. Thank Always you. a pleasure having you here. Tomorrow, MU Healthcare and Second Chance, our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Sifun Aoyoung. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. If you'd like to see this program again and see what our ghost looks like, kbia.org. Go to talk shows, then click on Radio Friends. And there she is now. Bye-bye. <laughs>